Thank you, Chair Decker and Commissioner Tani and Commissioner Bloom. I'm Colleen Roberts. I'm a commissioner in Jackson County, Oregon. And I appreciate the time to comment. With your latitude, I'd like to comment to a couple issues that were presented today. Um, I am here because of a concern for the duties and obligation of my office as related to the concerns of my constituents. Uh, regarding the smart meter rollout and the and the pilot project, um, many objections have been uh, multiple objections have been given to us, um, both written and verbal, and come before our commission with the stated objections to the AMI implementation. And I think I've tried to forward those all to you, whether it was our meetings or written uh, communication. I appreciate the uh, open dialogue with us. Um, the financial hardships our constituents continue to express objections to are the most concerning. Um, and the question in my mind, and one I think that needs answered is this, where was the meter reading cost attributed to in the past in our bills? In examining um, a utility bill, the line item for meter reading cannot be found, and yet we've been paying uh, meter readers for years. And I would assume, being the rest of our charges in our bill are um, usage charges or line items, that it probably was in the delivery charge area of the bill. And um, without the PUC actually documenting the historic meter reading fee, I find any billed amount unjustifiable. What was charged in our bills before? Where did that line item incur? And um, where's the credit to those that are not being read? And it's a rather simple concept, but also very important to clarify. We look to you for examining rates and measures being charged to our citizens. So what is the cost of meter reading and how are you addressing that? Um, we, we, I just wonder if there has been a true cost analysis. I, you, in Jackson County, I wonder how many electric bills are sent out, maybe um, 100,000 say. And maybe just one-tenth of those people opted out, which would make 10,000 bills, for instance. And Pacific Power was originally wanting to bill them $36 a month. That equates to $4.32 million a year. And now they're looking at just billing our customers opted out $9 a month, which is still, what, $90,000 to $100,000 a month and over a million a year. And is, does that equate to actual charges for this kind of service is our question. And, and truly, um, I, I'm here uh, with my own points because our board, of course, has not reviewed this uh, proposal as a board yet either, and I want to make that perfectly clear. Um, and also to note that it, we are in a real rural area. There are many of our consumers, like the gentleman talked about, that do, does not have broadband. Some of our customers have no internet, yet they got a smart meter. Theirs are still being read because they haven't internet service. So how does that fit in the mix? How does that, uh, are they being equally charged for a meter reader or is the opt-out people paying for theirs to be, to be read as well? It's just many unanswered questions. Uh, to the cost analysis objectivity of how these uh, consumers are being charged. The implementation of the smart meter program in um, our, our citizens' uh, op opinion appears to have no real net benefit to the rate payer, and many in our county object to the entire program. Um, and the other issue I would really appreciate just a second to address, and that is the Klamath project dam removal. And um, there are significant objection to the dam removals in our county with our constituents in both Southern Oregon and Northern California. And just for the record, for what it's worth, I brought a copy of Jackson County's letter of objection to FERC on that project, just for your consideration. I'm not here to discuss it, just for your information. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Commissioner Roberts. And I think your uh, questions about clarity in uh, how meter reading uh, was part of rates in the past and how it will be uh, in the future, both for uh, standard customers and opt-out customers is a very uh, reasonable uh, request. Uh, we do look at those things system-wide again, um, and so it, it may, may be uh, difficult to pinpoint you know, actual consumer but I, I am certain that uh, by engaging in the process and asking uh, questions, uh, uh, we will be able to
to provide some relevant examples and some clarity on the uh, questions that you've raised here today. Thank you. It should be equal to what the cost of providing the service is, you know, and if it's $4 million a year, that's pretty expensive service. But thank you. Thanks so much.